and welcome back to Consumer Update. Joining me today is Charles Gallagher from Gallagher and Associates. Now, I'm glad you're here because you guys are a law firm that does things a little bit different than most law firms. So why don't you tell me about that because I think it's really important. We do. We're, we're very client-centered and a mm -hmm. lot of law firms you might feel like you're a number or a little more anonymous, but we take the client and put them in the front of the, the package and they're the most important thing to us. See, that's great. And I, I know that you've called yourself like, like the concierge because that's something you don't get when you go to other law firms. Like you said, you tend to be numbers. Um, so when I come to you, you know, it, it, usually you're stressed out when you come to an attorney and the last thing you want to do is just be a number. We had a scenario recently where a client had a problem on a, a Friday evening around 7 o'clock at night. They have our cell phone numbers. We were able to get involved and by 8, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock on a Friday night, they had the issue resolved. So we're there for them 24-7 and it's the most important thing for us. Like I said, that's something different in, in the legal field and I know because a lot of the viewers know I am an attorney also. Um, so you don't see that, so that's why I really wanted to highlight that. Now, you, your area of practices, why don't you just give us like a little bit of a rundown because sure. you guys really do focus on a lot of different areas but you focus on them. You have people that are experts in that area. So Absolutely. tell me about some of the areas. Absolutely. Uh, the main four areas would relate to being consumer law issues. Okay. Uh, next area would be insurance disputes, any kind of disputes under someone's insurance policy. Examples would be uh, sinkholes or toxic mold, mm -hmm. uh, things like that, hurricane claims. Next area would be any kind of real estate disputes, uh, such as uh, fraudulent sale type issues or contract disputes. And the final area would be foreclosure issues and foreclosure defense, so default and foreclosure. Now, obviously, that, I'm glad you mentioned the foreclosure because foreclosure right now is a real issue to people. So um, when I come in there, like, what are some of the things I can expect? Like, let's just focus on foreclosure just because I think that a lot of people right now might be facing that. Well, like you said, about half a million people in Florida wow. are, are under foreclosure right now. And we try to offer folks a lot of different options. Uh, when they come in, we'll go ahead and lay down the, the many options they have. Mm -hmm. uh, they have rights that they don't know about. And we'd be very, very proactive in the process where a lot of folks are a little more reactive. So we'll go ahead and, <laughs> yeah. and go on the attack, so to speak. Yeah, and I think that's a key because a lot of people think they don't really need an attorney because game over. But really the game isn't over. And that's what you guys provide is you come in and you look at it differently. It's very, very, very much so. A lot of lenders will, will try to kind of push around for yeah. people without having attorneys. And uh, we can have them in their house during the whole process, not having to be out of the house. And we fight back. We find out scenarios where lenders and banks aren't acting appropriately. And we actually sue them back in some scenarios uh, to en enable a, a fair resolution for the client, whether it be modifying the loan or mm -hmm. some kind of reworking the loan, or whether it's um, deeding it back to them without having any other liability. And the key is a fair result because I know there's been some issue with lenders, which has put people in this situation. So you go in there and you try to right the wrong so that, you know, because nobody doesn't want to pay their bills. I mean, you're not in that situation because, you know, you want to hurt the bank or take advantage. You're in it because situations have happened or you've gotten yourself in a loan that's terrible. So you see this. It, it's got a... We see it all the time. And, and I tell folks it's really not their fault. Uh, yeah. there, was, there was a culture of, of lending money out there for a long time where people weren't asking questions. They weren't underwriting loans. And they were handing out loans left and right. And as a result, some folks got loans that really didn't warrant them as far as their financials. So mm -hmm. we're taking that back to the banks and saying, look, you should have uh, been a little bit more diligent with the way you loan money. And as a result of your, your handing out money for free, now we're in this fix. So right. we, give, we give the clients options. And obviously, the, the interest rate's jumping up, too. I mean, that, that people don't, don't realize. Like, when they're signing that first document and they have an interest-only loan and they all of a sudden don't have an interest-only loan after a few years, you know, so it's really, it does happen to people that you wouldn't think. A, a lot of times at closing, they're going to they're gonna cloak those terms and then say, here's what you have. And at the end of the day, they're, they're not explaining the fine print. And yeah. a, a two years into it, they realize, wait a second, I've, I've got a big problem here. So uh, there, there's, there's blame on, on, on the uh, side of the lenders, we believe. And I think the key, too, is for people not to think that they just have to take it. You don't have to lie down. You know, it's not something that's embarrassing that, you know, and that's what's happening is people get thrown out of their house because they don't want to fight because they think they've done something wrong. And I think the key is that they haven't done something wrong. It's absolutely the case. The stigma associated with foreclosures, thankfully, is now kind of uh, minimizing a little bit. They're doctors, they're lawyers, they're teachers, they're businessmen yeah. that are all having the house foreclosed, uh, properties foreclosed, and it's not based upon their doing. Uh, you know, some folks, there, there may be some folks out there that did buy off more than they can chew, but that's not the majority of borrowers and, and, and clients out there. So. Uh, definitely, there are a lot of folks out there who are in this fix, not of their own doing. So they should come talk to you and get some advice. Absolutely. We, we, we offer free consultations. We can give people oh, their options. That's great. 
So that's absolutely. great. Now, some of the other areas you mentioned um, was the mold and the sinkholes, which obviously we had that that sinkhole a <laughs> couple of weeks ago. Yes. So, I mean, it does happen in this area. Tell me a little bit about sure. that. Sure. A lot of these claims are going to be under your own homeowner's policy, okay. and uh, many times insurance carriers uh, tend to underpay or they want to go ahead and not pay what's appropriate. So, uh, we're there during the claim process, and if the scenario occurs where the lender's not or the, the carrier is not paying what they, they owe under the policy, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be there to enforce those rights for you, whether it's a hurricane scenario, whether it's a sinkhole, whether it's a toxic mold case. Um, any kind of claim under your homeowner's insurance policy, we're there to make sure that the, the carrier lives up to the four corners of that document. Yeah, and the key is, and I really want to stress this because, like I said, I am an attorney, so I feel, I feel the necessity to tell everybody, is that, again, you're just coming to an attorney for some legal advice. And you don't want to go into these situations alone because you're not equipped. You know, we've gone to school for a long time, practiced for a long time, really gathered that knowledge that you don't have. So you need to seek advice. I mean, and that's the key. For a time, I was on the other side of the bench, actually. I was working for insurance companies, working oh, for banks myself. Nice. So I can tell you that they are well equipped and, and they have more attorneys than you think. And at the end of the day, those attorneys are not going to put them in the wrong direction. So uh, going up against a uh, an insurance company or bank unarmed is, <laughs> is, is, is really quite dangerous, actually. It is, it is. Now it's Gallagher and Associates. Correct. So who are your associates? Tell sure. us a little bit about them. We have four other attorneys. We have a great staff there. Uh, Erica Marie is a junior associate. She's an excellent litigator. She's had a trial past week. Um, Allison Parker is one of our attorneys also, a younger associate, also helped that trial. And uh, Joe Milligan's our final attorney. He's a 24-year attorney and got a ton of experience, a great litigator, and uh, is involved in a lot of more, more complex uh, real estate litigation cases. So got an excellent team there and got some, a team of uh, paralegals and legal assistants. So uh, we're, we're ready to, hit, to hang with the big guys. We'll fight well, the big guys. It sounds like it again. Your partners when you have issues. Thanks again for coming. A lot of great information. Thank you for me. Great. And we'll have more after this short break.